Hey guys, welcome back. Laz is here for Tuts Plus again, and in this part, or the next couple of parts, we're going to go ahead and um, finish these pieces off for Wally's thread. Uh, so this is where we left off last time. I did move some things around just to make it a little bit better and um, just to have a nicer scale. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create these sort of pipes and these um, sort of coolant um, spikes on this, I guess. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with a cylinder. So I'm just going to go into my front view and just grab a cylinder. And we're going to go just drag one out roughly and go into my perspective mode and just give it some height and move it in the right place. Going to go into my side view and turn X-ray on. And we're going to have to rotate this as well. But first we're going to go ahead and scale this down. So I'm going to scale it down roughly for this um, smallest pipe here. You can't really see it too much on the reference, but it is there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just rotate it roughly in the right place, I guess. So we're going to have to go ahead and play around with this a little bit more. But for now, just get it roughly in the right angle. Probably around there I guess so I'm gonna also go ahead and grab these vertices and just move them back a little bit more and then once we have that we can go ahead and just add in the um, loops that we need really quickly so I'm just gonna isolate the whole piece select all the faces deselect the middle one and then go ahead and tear off my edit mesh extrude it and then in my channel box I'm just going to give it a not point not five probably actually less than that let's go with not point not three not point not two okay that should do it and I'm just going to give it two edge loops I mean you could also as you could tell in the like sort of previous pipes that we did we didn't really um, delete the faces, um, so the faces that they can't actually see. You can delete them if you want. Um, I'm not too worried about like um, performance and how heavy it's going to be. Um, so just to save time for me, I'll probably go back and uh, delete the them faces off it later on. But for now, uh, just to save total time. Um, I'm not really going to go ahead and delete all the faces so for example for these screws as well you can go ahead and delete the inner faces that they can't actually see um, but for me I'm not going to go ahead and do all that for every single piece because it would take the tutorial would go on for even longer but I'll probably do that later on so once we have these um, well that inner pipe which is going to be this one we'll probably scale it down even more if I just look at the size of that one this one seems to be a bit too big still. So let's just go ahead and scale this down a little bit more. Like so, I should do it. And then we're going to go ahead and um, create this next pipe. So if I just isolate it so you guys can have a look at it. So you can tell it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and we can go ahead. Uh, you can do it two ways. You can create a pipe or you can just duplicate this piece, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to scale it down this way. And let me just have a look how long that is. That's pretty long. Um, so I'm going to scale it down around this much and then scale it up. So I get roughly the um, right width for it. That should be around fine. And now I'm just going to go ahead and scale it down this way a bit more. Unsmooth it. Now I'm going to select all these vertices and I'm going to go ahead and push these back. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and just isolate this and get rid of this loop. And also this loop just to save me um, selection time when I select the faces and then we'll go ahead and add them back on. So I'm going to select all of those faces and then deselect these to get that and then gonna unisolate and now we can go ahead and extrude this and scale it in mm, 
probably around that much and then move it out. So you could get that bit. And then once we have that, we can go ahead and um, isolate, I mean, extrude this one more time. So scale it in. And then we're going to extrude again and push this in like so, so you get this sort of gap in there that gives it a bit more realistic feel to it. So I'm just going to push it back roughly and go into my wireframe mode, extrude it one more time, move it back so I get that loop so I don't have to go in there again later and extrude it one more time and scale it in. Okay, so that's great. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and isolate this piece to add in these edge loops that we didn't add. You could have added it while you were extruding as well. Okay, so we're going to need a loop here as well, and there, and there, and there, and here, and we still have the one at the end there, so it should be fine. Let's go ahead and smooth it, and there we got that piece created. So the uh, next piece is going to be this, and it's just a cylinder. You can go ahead and make it a pipe again. So you get that little gap in there that makes it look a little bit better. I think I'm just going to leave it a cylinder. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this cylinder again, duplicate it, and then scale it. I'm going to also go ahead and make it a lot bigger. Okay, roughly probably around that big. And I'm going to scale it again to. Um, make it the right sort of size and I'm just looking at that other piece so I'll see how tall this have to be I guess I can do my side view as well okay so that's just sort of a, a ring around there that's probably the right size I'll probably also go ahead and just scale this down a little bit okay so that's great and now we're going to go ahead and add these um, sort of spikes in there. And I think we're going to go ahead and make them separately. So let's go ahead and just drag out roughly the right size. We'll go ahead and position this properly later. So we're just going to start off with a sort of rectangle like so. And um, let's go ahead and add in an extra edge loop probably around here and while the edge loop is still selected we're just going to go ahead and scale this in so we get that sort of ring around there and then we're going to go ahead and select these vertices and scale them in as well to get that sort of loop I mean this um, this bit now I think we're also going to go ahead and select these vertices again and just squeeze them in a little bit more and this seems to be a bit too tall so I'm just going to go ahead and push it down same with this one just going to go ahead and push it down a bit okay so that looks pretty good so we go scale it a bit more I think we're also going to select just these two edges and scale them this way to make them a bit more thinner. Okay, so that's, that looks pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and add in the edge loops that we need. So this will keep its shape. Okay, so we're nearly there. So let's go ahead and hit that smooth button and see how this is going to look. Okay, so that looks pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and try to get this in the right place. So I'm just going to select it, press W, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, hold down V and snap it to that vertex so it roughly gets in the right place move it up and we're obviously going to have to do a lot of scaling with this and rotation so 
So let me just have a look where these sit. Okay, so that seems to be sit one sits right in the middle. So I'm just going to select these two and isolate them. Only them two, like so. And I'm going to go into my top view and get this to move to this vertex so it's right in the center. And after we've done one, it's going to be pretty easy to do the rest of them. So let me just see how much this piece is rotated and it's rotated 6.15 degrees. So I'm going to get that and then put in this one. And that way it should line up pretty well. Now we're just going to push it in. Okay, and we can again play around with the scale. I'm going to go to modify and center pivot. And then scale this down a bit more. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and do some adjustments. So I'm going to grab these vertices and drag them out this way. Same with the other side to make it a bit longer. Okay, so that looks, that looks quite good. I think it might be a bit too tall. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these top vertices and push them down a bit. And also I'm going to go ahead and make it bit more thin like so smooth it and that looks pretty good so now we have that we can just press insert on our keyboard and move the pivot to this vertex press insert and then now we can duplicate it and rotate it around that point so it seems like it's rotated minus 35 and then duplicate this again and this one's going to be rotated 35. And that shouldn't be rotated, I don't think. Let me just do that again. So duplicate, rotated this way, 35. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and, and isolate and see how it's looking. Might be a little bit too tall still. Uh, but we can always go back and play around with it a bit more. So select them where it's. You can always, um, again, make this piece look different than what mine is like to play around with it a bit more. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time on this piece. So you can make, I guess, these ones shorter on the side and then keep the one in the middle tall. So let's just go ahead and do that and see how that would look. Okay. So that looks pretty cool I guess. And I also can go ahead and make this one a bit shorter. Alright, so that piece is created. We just see how we're doing with time. We've still got seven minutes ish so Let's go ahead and we're going to start blocking this piece out um, that actually holds um, everything together here. And it's also the piece that are going to join up to this joint um, to his body. Uh, so we're going to use this as a reference and uh, we're just going to have to sort of try to get the uh, proportions right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these pieces. So they're out of the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all this stuff to um, to this layer for now. So I can go ahead and hide it. And that way I only have to worry about this piece. So let's go into our front view or side view. Let's just have a look how this is constructed, okay? So if I unsmooth it, as you can tell, this sort of started out as a cylinder and then we extruded it along. Um, played around with extrude and stuff and that's how we ended up with this shape, okay? So I'm going to unisolate and just go into our side view And let's go ahead and start with a cylinder and we'll probably start in the center of this pipe Like so drag it out Roughly the right size And go into my front view give it some thickness 
Okay. So it's probably you can be around there and I'm going to drag in the right place so obviously you don't have this shape so what you can do is like you said earlier you can just use this reference so it goes probably here where this triangle is on the reference so you can just use that to get in the right place okay so I'm also going to go ahead and make it a little bit thinner like so and that looks about right then I'm going to go delete all these faces because we don't need them and then we can go ahead and start extruding this edge so just going to double click this edge go into my side view oh that looks about right so I'm going to go into my front view first and we're going to go ahead and extrude this and my offset is freaking out again but it's fine so let's go ahead and drag this up. So you don't have this reference, so you're going to drag it up to the second thread here, probably around halfway. And extrude it again. And then move it up. And we're also going to go ahead and grab this vertex on the side. And you're going to drag it out around there. Okay. Let's go ahead and select this edge again. Go into our front view, extrude, and let's go ahead and drag this up. And then again, let's select this vertex and just push it out this way. We might have to play around with this vertex a bit more to um, get it smoothing up. And I'm going to select this loop again, go back into our front view, extrude up, turn down the offset. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Seems like we're also going to go ahead and push this vertex out a little bit, and also this one. And then let's go ahead and select this edge loop one more time. Go into our front view and extrude one last time, turn down the offset. You probably, your extrude is probably not freaking out like mine. It's just because I gotta reset the settings on it and then it should be fine. So let's go ahead and select this vertex and then push it in where it meant to be. Okay, so basically we got a block. So now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill this uh, top piece up. And we've been using uh, extrude technique so that we just extrude these two edges and then um, and then we merge the vertices. That's probably the simplest way to do it. It's probably not the fastest. You can also go ahead and um, I'll show this. Uh, it shouldn't be overwhelming you an extra tool. So you can select like both of these um, edges and then you can use the bridge tool if I find it. If you go into the settings, you can set the divisions to how many you need. Um, for this, we only need one. So if we click apply, as you can tell, this will um, bridge the two together and then we can just go ahead and delete these two faces, I mean edges. And it's all filled, so if you move this, as you can tell, all the vertices are merged together. But most of the time, I just uh, stick to my uh, standard tools extruding and merging vertices is probably the simplest way and that's why we've been using that all the way along now so you guys don't get lost in all the tools that we are using so once we have the block out uh, we're going to go ahead and add um, this extra sort of shield piece to it okay so this will give it some extra detail and we've got to do some uh, sort of fairly complicated cuts here but it's not that bad and we're gonna these pieces are stolen from the head so you're gonna go ahead and add these and then our thread will be done so i'll see you guys in the next part